As a pilot, understanding where the wind is coming from and how it is affecting the aircraft's flight path is one of the most integral skills a pilot can have. It allows the pilot to remain situationally aware while doing maneuvers, flying cross country, and especially when taking off and landing. This fundamental skill of identifying the wind direction and compensating for it allows a pilot to fly the aircraft exactly where they would like while correcting for the effects of the wind. To better understand how a pilot can correct for wind, imagine that you need to cross a river in a boat. If there is no current, the person paddling the boat can aim straight across and reach the other side of the river exactly where they intended. But if the river has a current, paddling a boat straight across would result in the person missing their desired aiming point because the current will cause the boat to drift downstream as the person paddles straight across. So how would you fix this? By angling the boat into the current and paddling, the person now can cross the river in a straight line. The nose of the boat will be facing in a direction that allows the person to correct for the drift from the current. The same is done while flying. Wind correction angle, sometimes called a crab angle, is how a pilot compensates for effects of the wind on an aircraft's ground track. Let's say the pilot wants to follow a road, or another straight line reference, below them, and the wind is coming from the pilot's right side. If the pilot were to point the nose of the aircraft in the same direction of the road, eventually the wind will blow the aircraft to the left side of the road. Not what the pilot wants. To maintain the desired ground track over the road, the pilot must use a wind correction angle to overcome the undesired drift caused by the wind. By angling the nose of the aircraft into the wind, the pilot can overcome the effects of the wind and fly the ground track they intended. Planning, observing, and correcting for the effects of the wind is known as being wind conscious. While preparing for a flight, pilots check weather reports to get a general understanding of what the wind is doing in their region. They then observe the windsock or another type of wind indicator at the airport they should be departing from to prepare for their crosswind corrections while taxiing and taking off. While aloft, pilots should be looking for indications of wind direction and velocity to be aware of the wind's influence on their flight path. Some great wind indications pilots can use is smoke from fires, ripples across lakes and ponds, or even conducting a wind drift circle or flying along a road. When flying the traffic pattern and landing, the pilot should use the airport wind indicators and their knowledge of how the wind was affecting their flight path while aloft to ensure a uniform traffic pattern is flown and their landing is on the center line of the runway. A pilot that is wind conscious will understand how the wind is affecting their aircraft in all stages of flight. By applying the appropriate wind correction angle to their flight path will allow the pilot to fly their aircraft over the ground how they planned. This skill is vital when taking off and landing, conducting maneuvers, flying on cross-country flights, and conducting the traffic pattern. By remaining wind conscious and correcting for the wind's influence on the aircraft, a pilot can make the aircraft fly the course they desire no matter what the wind does. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.